right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in Ascend to Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your pick a card reading, but we're gonna take a look at your person's intentions when it comes to you. Um, so we have three piles here. Okay, so pile one, pile two, pile three. So we'll start off with the Malachite. <coughs> okay, so choose a crystal that resonates with you that you're drawn to. They are moved closer to the camera, so hopefully you guys can see them. I know this one may be a little bit harder because the black underneath the table, but hopefully you can still see this. This is uh, Rainbow Pyrite. Okay, there's another name for it as well. Uh, actually, Choco Pyrite. I think it's Choco Pyrite and something else. Um, anyways, okay, so let's jump into this. If you guys want to book something personal, my information is down below in the description box, all right? There is a promotion going on. I'll leave that on the video as well. Okay, so let's look into their intentions. I'm just going to move these over. Okay, so if you guys chose this crystal here, let's find out the person on your mind. What are their current intentions when it comes to you? So we've got the Queen of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. The Six of Wands, the Four of Swords, we have the answer is yes. Let me move this down a bit. I can see all the cards properly. Okay, we have Disappointed, and the message is I keep seeing your name everywhere. Okay. All right, Pile One. So, what are their intentions with you? Okay, so right off the bat, what I love to see here is the answer is yes, because as a reader, typically what this card means is that this is someone who is open to the connection. They're open to working on things. They're open to seeing what could be, what could become of it. Um, so when you get the answer is no, typically that's someone who's very closed off, right? They're saying no to the connection. They're saying no, they don't want to um, pursue anything. So I do feel like this person is definitely open to you and open to seeing what could happen. Um, are open to like, you know, essentially progressing things forward. <laughs> um, the thing is, okay, so this person right now may not be saying a whole lot to you. We do have the Four of Swords here. So it could be that this person is not communicating their intentions at this time. And I think the reason why is because this person is going through like a healing period. So you may have met this person at a time where maybe they were unavailable, maybe they were already involved, maybe they are just getting out of something. Because I do think that this person is tied to someone else right now, and I think that that is affecting their energy, and I'm just getting that this person like doesn't want to disappoint you. Like they don't want to get your hopes up only to realize down the road like oh maybe i didn't heal enough or maybe i'm not really ready like so i'm getting that they want to pursue something with you but at the same time too i feel like this person is focused on rebuilding themselves like you know when you you get out of a breakup it's like you need to kind of figure out who you are again you need to you need some time to readjust to be on your own to rebuild your confidence all of that so i feel like that's kind of where this person is at so if you guys aren't resonating with that like if you know this person isn't getting out of something that is probably isn't your reading but this is more so if you know that this person is getting out of something or has recently got out of a connection and they're just in that process of like needing to feel good about themselves so they might have been in a toxic relationship or they might have been in a relationship that really like affected their self-esteem and their confidence so i feel like they're really trying to rebuild themselves again i'm also feeling like this person may be you know thinking about how they had like a failed relationship and so they don't want to fail you like they don't they're they may be feeling like a failure right now when it comes to relationships um and again, like the other thing I'm getting is that this person is kind of connected still to someone else. So they're, I don't think they're with this person for a lot of you guys, but I do think that this person is still obviously like energetically connected, which is creating this like probably hot and cold energy from them. Cause we have the two of pentacles. So you may be getting like mixed signals from this person. I don't think that this person has bad intentions at all. Actually, I think if anything, this person is trying not to disappoint you so they don't want to get your hopes up so if they're not committing or if they're not um being as expressive as they could it's mainly because they don't want to build up this idea and then let you down because they're like they realize oh my gosh i'm not actually ready but i do feel like this person is reminded of you a lot so we have i keep seeing your name everywhere so i do feel like this, the universe is saying like hello you have this great person in front of you are you going to take it um but ultimately, I feel right now, like, 
they do want this connection but their intentions are to build themselves up so that they can feel like they are ready for this it almost feels like their intentions are to focus on themselves so that they can be ready for you at some point down the road if that makes sense so it's not like they're just self-focused and they don't care about you they want to build themselves up so that they can actually offer you something or so that they can actually feel ready for you and so for a lot of you guys i think this person maybe just needs time to heal they need time to like you know just feel good about themselves that's what i'm getting i feel like whatever their past relationship was it just took a toll on them you know i feel like this person started feeling like they weren't attractive enough like they weren't good enough and i feel like now this person is trying to feel attractive again they're trying to feel confident they're trying to you know build some sort of success in their life um because they don't want to say yes to this connection and then down the line again like disappoint you okay um, so that's what I have for you guys pile number one. So I hope this resonated if you guys want to book something personal My information is down below, but let's jump into pile number two Okay, so if you guys chose this crystal here, let's find out what are your person's intentions with you So we have the six of pentacles The page of wands the eight of swords We have the two of cups we have inner child fulfilled and their message is sorry my feelings have changed okay okay pile number two what are their intentions this kind of threw me off a little bit um oh okay okay i see okay so this is interesting so I don't think this person's feelings for you have actually changed. What I think has happened is that this person's inner child wounds have been activated and it's translating to them to the like it's translating to them that oh, I don't feel anything for this person anymore. This is actually not the case. Um, this person has unresolved inner child wounds and I'm almost getting like a self-sabotaging energy I'm getting it's like this like the moment things became so good between the two of you They might have Retracted their energy or they might have like switched up on you And I think this is because this person is not accustomed to receiving love They're not accustomed to feeling this because we have the two of cups here. We have fulfilled right like this is literally like you are like this is being completely fulfilled completely satisfied at peace with someone there's nothing else you would need right this two of cups seems very electrifying like there's a strong bond between the two of you and even with the page of wands and the six of pentacles i'm getting a very like equal give and take enthusiasm communication all of that but then we've got this eight of swords and the inner child so i think what's happening is that this person is self-sabotaging they're letting their self-loading beliefs like this idea that they're not worthy of love or this idea that they're maybe going to mess things up or whatever it is for some of you guys this person may be um starting to criticize you but i think that this is their way of sabotaging things so i'm not saying to like chase after this person by any means but it's almost like their intentions towards you are to it feels sad it just feels like to sabotage it unfortunately because you have this beautiful connection with this person but they don't feel worthy of it and i don't even know if they're consciously aware of it i don't think that they are i don't think that they're aware that their inner child is making them believe that they don't have the same feelings because i think that these feelings for them are almost too strong like they feel very strongly for you but they're saying you know my feelings have changed, but I think what's come up is that their fears have been activated. This feels like the kind of reading where you break it off five months down the road, this person like realizes what they lost. That's what it feels like. It feels like when you're right in front of them, they have this amazing thing, but they don't feel good enough for it, so they sabotage it and then Maybe when you've moved on, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe I lost this beautiful, amazing connection. This is really happening on a subconscious level. Like they're not aware that they're sabotaging this. So it can be very frustrating for you, especially if you're feeling like this deep connection and you don't know why they're like 
messing it up because even with the page of wands and the six of pentacles like this is like equal give and take this is communication i think at one point the two of you were very close like you felt very deeply connected to this person extremely connected um there is mutual energy coming from both of you and then this person like pulled back is what i'm feeling and they might have said to you my feelings have changed um they might have you know just started acting different and for them they actually do believe that their feelings changed but they're not aware this seems like someone who's not like maybe spiritually evolved or maybe they don't have a lot of awareness of self they may not know about like childhood wounding that kind of thing because that's what's coming up their wounds are coming up it's like their intimacy wounds are coming up and it's like the closer they got to you it triggered something within them and it made them feel like oh my gosh i don't have feelings for this person when in reality that they do so this is a tricky one um i'm gonna say the intentions are not the greatest just because they're sabotaging this okay so that is pile number two so i hope this resonated for you guys if you want to book something personal my information is down below in the description box okay so let's move on to pile number three so if you guys chose this crystal here, what are their intentions? We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Chariot, we have the Ten of Wands, Mask, Worried, I made the wrong choice. Okay. Okay, so what are their intentions? Okay, so they want to make you an offer. Their intentions are to um, charge towards you after messing things up in the past. So I think this person chose someone else over you or they chose something else over you. They didn't choose you in the past, okay? This is someone who had the opportunity to choose this connection and to choose you, but they didn't. So they either chose another person, multiple people, or maybe they chose work or they chose to be single, whatever it is. Now, the reason why they did this is because they were wearing a mask. They didn't want to reveal their, their true selves to you because they were worried that if you saw the real them that you would leave or you would reject them. So they wanted to keep on this facade. They wanted to keep on this mask. And in doing so, I feel like they ended up rejecting you in some way. And so they're looking back on this going, I made the wrong choice. You know, I had so many choices in the past and I made the wrong one. I feel like in the past they felt like they were doing the right thing, but now it's really taking a toll on them. Like I'm getting a heavy regret energy from this person. So their intentions are to really truly make you like a very solid offer here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And if you notice like the imagery on this Ace of Pentacles, this guy is reaching out. He's got both of his hands reaching out with this offer that he has been working on. He's been thinking about. It's a solid offer and it's something in the physical. So it's not like a, it's something that's grounded. It's something that's real. It's something that's tangible. This person wants to make you a real offer. I think that they're worried that you're, that it's too late. They're worried that like maybe they've messed up things too much. It's burdening them like this has been weighing on them. I feel like since they've realized that they made the wrong choice, it has been deeply affecting them. And I think it's been keeping them up at night. And so I do see that their intentions are to charge towards you. We've got the chariot energy. This person is going to come in very strong. A lot of you guys are going to be like, whoa, what is going on? Like, why did you just do a 180 or 360 or whatever it is? Why did you just switch up on me? And I think the reason is, is because like, again, this person should have made a different choice in the past, right? You know, like they didn't because they wanted to keep the mask on whatever that means, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what this mask was exactly, but they were more concerned about the mask. They were more concerned about the ego, um, protecting themselves, whatever it is. And they're recognizing that, wow, okay, this doesn't really fulfill me. This doesn't make me happy by 
hiding how I'm feeling or pretending like I don't care when I actually do. And it's been, it's been weighing on them since the two of you have potentially separated. Like it's been taking a toll on them to the point where they can't, like they can't focus on anything anymore. Like they need to resolve this in order for them to just have a clear sense of mind and to even just get peace on this situation. Even if you say no to them, they're going to be like, at least I tried and at least I, you know, spoke my truth and was honest and took off the mask. So, yeah, I do see that the, this person's intentions are to reach out to you with a solid offer, okay? So, guys, that's what I have for you, pile number three. So, I hope this resonated. If you guys want to book something personal, my information is down below in the description box. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.